Okay. So I'm just doing oh. it, it's just like... So you've made, made a hat, and the hat's got... What's it got, an accelerometer sensor yeah. on it? Or it's, got a, it's got a tilt sensor, right? A tilt sensor, right. So it knows the X, X Y, Z. Okay. And, and, what is that, and what does that trigger in your software? Um, yeah, I used maximum speed, so like pure data. Okay. And um, on the... XS, we can control the speed of the of the thunder rain sound, and on the IS, we control the pitch of it. Okay. And with the Z, uh, as when you have it, so it's quite sensitive it, to how you're moving and what you're changing, right? Yeah. Well, uh, we um, divided it so it has lower numbers, and when you turn it around, the Z. Text give a positive or a negative, a one or a zero. Okay. Yeah, with the with the one, it activates the uh, rocks. Here. The rocks. Yeah. So you either make the rocks happen or they don't. Yeah. And what happened when you threw those on the floor then? That that was independent of it. So you threw the rocks on the floor and then Jess made these rocks happen by yeah. moving them. So part of the performance, so like. Oh, the rocks forward, so yeah. threw rocks down, but when I put the hat on it, it was like, yeah, because we, we did some research into like hats and stuff, and one of the most common things was for head protection from like falling rocks and stuff, oh, okay, so we thought okay. we'd add in sound effects as well, wow. yeah, and the moustache was just for fun, because <laughs> we were playing around with the sounds, and you know Speedy Gonzalez, the Mexican mouse, yeah. um, one of the sounds sounded like his little running thing, oh, yeah. so we thought we'd just have moustaches. <laughs> You must be too young for Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, it was, it came up in the research when we were looking at different types of hats, so <laughs> okay. it, was, it was quite fun. And it fit with the sound. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. I can really imagine this. Uh, when you first put the hat on, I was thinking maybe it would have been better if you'd kind of come out and sort of sat on a chair and yeah. just kind of fix stuff to the glare and then just put this hat on and then you know, deliver this sound, this weird sound, you know. Yeah. And the and the rocks as well. I mean the I really like the idea that the rocks have come from, from the hat research, but from an audience perspective. Yeah. That we I was what, we're what? thinking of dropping them like <laughs> on the hat, but we didn't want to like break the or yeah. break my head or anything like that. So yeah, yeah. maybe if we use lighter rocks next time, just like a sprinkle of white rocks, sort of like that. Yeah. But I think I think there's something to be said about not making things obvious. Yeah. That actually that 
that moment where you're thinking, I'm trying to join things up, and I, and, you know, and I'm having to work, I'm having to do some work here. So, so, so maybe I'm just being a bit slow today. But you know, I, I, there's something really interesting about about like, producing those kind of experiences. But like, did you think? I mean, did you wonder whether or not? What did you think we were going to think when you said much Kettle of the Rocks in terms of the reference to the hat? Did it seem, to, does that hang together? Or did it, were, were you worried about what we, what we put two and two together? Or? I don't know, I suppose when you think about it, it doesn't make that much sense. So you're probably thinking, oh, the rocks have been chucked on the floor, I'm moving my head on a hat sort of thing. But like I said, I suppose if, we, if I had like gone over there and maybe like dropped the rocks on my head, possibly, it might have made a bit more sense, sort of. Yeah. There's a kind of question about whether or not, I mean, I, I guess a performance where you have a person who puts on a special hat and then the other performers throw rocks at them is, <laughs> is kind of the sort of stuff we were looking at in the last <laughs> yeah. workshop. So th this, um, you know, I think there's something really, I, r I really like that, that, that it's not, you know, this, an obvious progression from one thing to another. Um, but yeah, I guess I was curious about what you... Whether you intended that or not. Did you spend the. Uh, I'm just thinking about learning to play the hat then. Is there a. Well, we'll take around, for the we played around with the sounds for a while because uh -huh. when we were first holding it, we just like with the sense and then we put it on our head and we would look a bit weird like we were cramping on it, just sort of like moving our head around with the hat and stuff. So we, were, we played around with different sounds, then we just try to see which one sounded right. And we ended up with this one. We thought it sounded pretty cool. Can you can you imagine what um, uh, an orchestra of, of hat players would look like? Weird. Weird. It's quite a. Next, quite a. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because obviously you have the motion where you flip the hat, which makes the rocks noises, and then the rest of the noises move by tilting the hat as well. So I suppose you could do like a really good performance of it because it's like everyone flips that hat as well, makes a sound, and I suppose you could do dancing. Well. There's not there's people that's the whole the old Michael Jackson hat yeah. on the arm. <laughs> Try to roll it down your arm and see what the noises it makes, yeah. It's there, but great. I actually yeah. thought when you when you had the, the first part, um I uh, I felt like it was a marble running in the in the rim of the hat. Like when they turn it, uh, oh, okay. it sounded like a uh, yeah. like something running through the hat. And I thought it was pre pretty accurate sounding like that. But that was maybe my <laughs> interpretation yeah, of it. Yeah. yeah. Didn't think about that. Like like when you move your uh, and it also fit the movement of your head. So because uh, when you when you twist around, you hear it like spinning around, and I, I really felt like that was cool. I'll put a marble in there next time. Your amusement, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, yeah. guys. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.